Good Monday morning. I hope you're having a wonderful start, beginning to this beautiful new week. We are closing in summer, but God's refreshment continues throughout the year. We are in 2 Samuel 21. Yeah. And it is talking about that there was a famine in the land for three years. It opens up that in the days of David, year after year, he inquired of the Lord and the Lord answered and he said it is for Saul this is the reason for the famine for his bloody house because he slew uh, the Gibeonites and it goes on to talk about in detail so many wars that happened even where there was giants with six fingers in each hand and six toes in each foot but something very interesting happened in this chapter because there was someone who was about to uh, kill David and they were fighting against the Philistines. But they said, mm -mm, David's people, you cannot fight anymore. In verse 15, moreover, the Philistines had yet war again with Israel. David went down and his servants with him and fought against the Philistines. But David waxed faint. He grew tired. And we know that there's going to come a time where we're just like, oh my goodness, I don't have the strength that I had. And the man, Ishbinadab, Ishbinadab, verse 16, was the son of a giant. The weight of his spear was 300 shekels of brass in weight. He being girded with a new sword. And he thought to have slain David. He was preparing to slay him. But then that's when David's people are like, nope, you can't do it anymore. You have retired from fighting because he was that close to being killed. And it says that Abishai, the son of Zerui, succored him and smote the Philistine and killed him, that giant. Then the men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us to battle, that thou quench not the light of Israel. We need you to be in your place to be the leader. And just like we're about to prepare for a new week, new assignment, maybe the same assignment, but sometimes we have to retire from old tasks and projects and might have to be at the brook of Kareth where we have to lay aside and just nourish ourselves and the Lord be like why why am I not in this project because the Lord needs you over here or there to drink of his presence and that's that's in 2019 so don't be offended when someone takes you off an assignment or off a team just know that you are being prepared for another yes another role in Psalm 16 in the meantime where when we're being displaced or when we're being relocated Know that the Lord is your portion, in verse 5. And he is the cup of our inheritance. So he's the one who establishes all that we will receive. He is our completion, our perfection, our source. So we don't look to jobs and roles and titles. Mm -mm. And he said that he will maintain us. Thou maintainest my lot. And this is from David. So he knows about this as far as retirement, part-time, or maybe displaced or replaced. No problem. And we know that this is a testimony for us. I love this scripture, and I know you do too. When the Lord has a new assignment for you, in verse 11, we can declare this. Thou, Father, will show me the path of life. It might be a new path. It might be a path well where we might just stay, be still and know that I am God, Psalms 46.10. But know that the path that he gives, he's going to show us. And while we're on that path, in your presence, because you're right there with us, is fullness of joy. People wonder why we are so happy, why we can run to work, because we have the presence of the Lord. We're in the presence of the Lord. And his promise is thy right hand, right there on the side, our pleasures forevermore. So we have nothing to stress about. We have nothing to regret. No, therefore my heart is glad. In verse 9, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh, my flesh, my body also shall rest in hope. 
And how is it that we could wake up refreshed? It's because in verse 7, we bless the Lord even when we're asleep because he gives us counsel. He advises us. He gives us witty ideas. I, I, I lay in the morning looking out the window and the Lord, I just look out in the trees and the sky as it changes. And that's when the Lord speaks to me. Well, it says that he will give counsel. My reins, my heart also instruct me in the night seasons and the morning seasons throughout the day. Why? Because he is our portion, our source, our everything. Have a wonderful day in the Lord, knowing that God is to be exalted among the heavens because we are still and we're in the presence of the Lord. Enjoy.